I always liked music, but uh, I didn't ever aspire to be a musician. I began listening to bebop, Charlie Parker, and, and uh, Diz, and so forth, and uh, I would hear the basses, you know, and I was fascinated by the bass sound. Joseph the Voice. Shaku Joseph Jarman. Born September 14, 1937, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, USA. Moved to Chicago, uh, went to school there from uh, a wonderful uh, family that introduced me to music at an early age. I uh, met the members of the Art Ensemble while a student in uh, college. Roscoe, the catalyst, the founder, the continuing energy. Well, I was born in Chicago um, in 1940. Um, I think things were a bit different when I was coming up in that. Uh, the types of music that people listened to weren't really that separated as they are now in categories. So I grew up listening to the music that was played around my house, you know, by my mother and father and all of the older people, and it was much more music in the community at that time. Lester, the general. I've been playing music all my life. And my father played music. All my brothers played music. His brothers played music. His father played music. Uh, so we've been playing music for a long time. So it's in the family. And myself, the organizer. Famudu Don Moya. Born Donald F. Moore. Famudu, meaning elder of the drums. Tradition, Guinea. Family, Konate Famudi. Royal family of drummers. Ancient to the future. In 1961, Muhal Richard Abrams founded an experimental band. Now, this place uh, served as a meeting place for musicians of the same mind who wanted to try experimental music. Uh, there, a lot of us met each other, for instance, like Joseph and I uh, met around that time. And, uh, Henry Threadgill, uh, Anthony Braxton, we were all going to school together in, uh, in Chicago at that time. So we all started to, to get together a lot and, and try experiments with music. Now, as we ventured into that, we found that we were not only interested in uh, the aspect of music, but also uh, interested in controlling our destinies and trying to serve in the community. So we had to try to find a vehicle in which we could do this. Uh, so we came together in 1965 and formed the AACM, which is Association for the Advancement of Creative Musicians. Uh, there we, we maintained an experimental band also. We formed small groups, uh, set up uh, institutes, teaching institutions in the communities, and uh, where we uh, worked with uh, the students, uh, sponsored them in concert, and sponsored our own self in concert, playing our own uh, original compositions. Out of this uh, experience also grew the Iron Ensemble, which started off as the Roscoe Mitchell Ensemble. Uh, we had been playing uh, in Chicago. Uh, at that time, there was two major groups at that time. Uh, Joseph Jarman's group, uh, which consisted of Joseph Jarman, Christopher Gatti, Charles Clark, and, um, and Thurman Barker. Thank you, Joseph. And at that time, uh, also existed the Roscoe Mitchell uh, Quartet, which consisted of uh, myself, uh, Lester Bowie, uh, Philip Wilson, and Malachi Favors. And we went on with this situation for a while and played, and, and some of the personnel got shifted around. And then after that, um, we, f we felt on, on our departing for Europe that we had to form a cooperative to keep our ventures going because we weren't working that much. And like, these are like the basic uh, founders of the Iron Ensemble Squad. <laughs>
Burundi is based upon a traditional traditional African uh, royal drum company composition and it's like a welcome to the celebration welcome to the festival it's a greeting composition talking about the riverboat it's another little story composition a lot of these songs are like tone poems they're little stories some of them are very serious stories and some of them are very innocent stories we're very very romantic in the sense that we have this idea of uh, music as pictorial image paint my face because I feel that uh, the face evokes the community spirit as opposed to the individual spirit. It doesn't deal with recognizable situations, it deals with more the symbolic situation, the individual as a part of a greater thing, as a function of a symbol for something, that something being a ceremony of sorts, a ritual, something that will evoke certain things from the culture, from the spiritual essence of the people. When I go on the stage, I believe personally that I, I don't want to take the energy and the vibrations from the street with me. So I change. I, the clothes I wear on stage are not clothes that I would normally be wearing on the street. It's not a doctor's coat, first of all. It's a lab coat, which is, uh, any technician may have, or is a mechanic may even wear one like that. Uh, it's about, uh, it stands for research, and I stand for research, so I, I wear the coat. I'm kind of a, a research trumpeter, see, I'm a, if it hadn't been for research, I wouldn't even be playing trumpet. 